Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here again, NAB 2017, on the show floor at the Aperture booth with Ted. Yep. Now, Ted, we're looking at something that looks a little bit familiar from something that we previewed last year. And last yep. year we were looking at uh, these, these smaller lights um, that I believe we were calling the, the C20s or something along those lines. And I'll put a link to that video if you guys want to check those out. And they were lights that came in at about 7,000 degrees Kelvin mm -hmm. and could be run off of like a simple USB 5 volt battery pack and all sorts of stuff. Yep. Well, you guys have not only those on display here, but this one, which is the LS Mini 20C. Mini 20C. Which is? So I know everyone's been waiting for it. We are really gunning to get these out as quick as possible. It's just sometimes when there's little tweaks that make the light a little better, we got to do the tweaks now because if we wait, then we can't fix it after it's released. Yeah, it's good for you to, to work on it and yeah. wait until you guys have a product where you want it yeah. and making sure that it does everything that you want it to do yeah. before you let it out. Don't That's let anybody sad. pressure you guys to do otherwise. No, but we feel bad and we, we, when we promise products, we really, really do want to get them out. Um, so we have worked as fast as we could. This is basically the Mini 20C. This is now the bicolor version of the Mini 20D light. And that's the kicker. And that's why I wanted to come and look at this particular one um, because you guys have been doing some videos on your YouTube channel with, with the, uh, the, the, D. the D and all that stuff. And seeing that there's a C which is bicolor. Yeah. I really enjoy working with bicolor because I find myself in mixed lighting environments a lot. Totally. Some people like the, you know, double the output by having a dedicated color, but I think this yeah. is really cool. I think something like this would be really useful for me and probably a lot of other people for out there. For run and gun stuff, every wedding shooter has done outside daylight into the chapel. Exactly. Tungsten. I mean, how many times have you done that? You know, you go outside into someone's house, Daylight tungsten, tungsten daylight. Um, it's nice to have something that can change immediately and on the fly, and that's something we're doing with the Mini 20C. However, yeah, so tell me about the functionality and how you sort of control that and, and power it and all that sort of stuff. So we didn't want to overcomplicate it. So basically the only way you change it is you go here, before we had the daylight, and you would just have one thing for intensity. Uh -huh. Well, you can still change that intensity. So you can see I'm changing it here. But now if I click it, it's a button, I can change modes, and now I am changing between daylight and tungsten. So you can see on Bart's shirt, we're going daylight, 5600 to 3200 daylight. Now this is really hard to do. <laughs> this is why it took some time. <laughs> it's not as easy as you'd think as just having a normal bicolor LED because this is single source. And yes. because it's single source, it's two parts. One, it's gotta make one shadow, and two, the light needs to mix perfectly. So we did some really tricky things. And let me just say, first of all, that there is no bicolor single source model at this size. And that's because traditionally to do a bicolor single source LED, you have one big 3200, one big 5600, and you try to mix them, yeah. and then you get two shadows because you got two LEDs. Mm -hmm. Two sources as opposed to a single. Exactly. So a couple of things are happening here. One, we have on the outside, it's kind of a ring. Okay. It's basically a 10,000 Kelvin. So it's blue. And on the inside, we've got a 3200 Kelvin. Okay. Basically, the two of those make sure that it stays one single source. However, that doesn't solve your mixing problem. To do that mixing problem, we've got a little silver chamber built in right in here. So before the light comes out, it bounces around in a little chamber and then shoots out to make sure that that light is perfectly mixed. Wow, I feel like I'm getting a physics lesson here. It's that's crazy. amazing. Wow, I yeah. never would have thought that that's how you're accomplishing something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's super tricky. We're the first people really to do it. Um, inside of here, you're not gonna get that 10,000 Kelvin. You never really need 10,000 Kelvin. Yeah. However, when we, we've, we've kind of mixed it in the perfect amount that the, that the range is 32 to 56. To 56. Which is what everyone wants. Nice. So super tricky. So you do still have slots for gels and filters if you wanted them. Sure. But you no longer need to put in a, a tungsten gel to switch over to tungsten. Exactly. You can dial it in and match that. Um, and I'm assuming these are the same quality high CRI and TLCI as most of your other yep. lights. Yep, super high, 95 plus. Um, I will mention, if you're choosing between the daylight or the bicolor, you do have to know that your bicolor is going to be about half as bright. There's okay. just something to keep in mind. Yeah, and, and that's sort of yeah. what I was mentioning along the lines of, you know, bicolor gives you that flexibility in color temperature, but if you're really looking for output, usually the, the, the single temperature lights are, are the way for you to exactly. go. Exactly. Uh, they are super punchy. Uh, the daylight ones are about the equivalent of a 150 watt tungsten light. So super, super bright. Shapeable single source if yes. you want to get those beams. Again, we did it last time, but I'm doing it on Bart's shirt. Yep, there you we want go. That Tron laser. It has an infinity wheel built in, so it's really, really easy to shape. You got four barn doors if you want to do a box. Um, really, really easy. I know we're just using your shirt. That's right a now. good. That's a good cut. It's actually too. a really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it works it's a really great well. cut actually. <laughs> um, just, just to have that yeah. laser, that slash. You want to put a little accent light, a hair light. Um, these are the perfect kit for that. 
Pricing we think is going to be about 200 and we're going to sell them in three light kits. That's great. great. Yeah. So it's 200 per light and then you can have the option about of 200. getting pricing a... Pricing isn't fully set. Well, yeah, of course. Around. But so yeah. like a three light kit, you're looking at probably around 600 range. Yeah. For yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not bad for what could essentially be a really portable uh, travel like interview setup or anything like that. Yeah. And talking about the portability, I know we mentioned it last year, but just so people know, tell me about powering these guys. Powering these guys. So on the back here, this reads 5 volt to 18 volt. So five volt means you can use basically any type of five volt, five volt, five volt your USB charger, mm -hmm. your cell phone dongle. Uh, 18 volt is your Anton Bauer or your V-Lock batteries. So either of those will power it. And we've also given you an adapter so you can use Sony lithium and PF batteries oh, nice. included in the kit. Um, we're really just trying to give you as many options as we can. I know online we did a little episode where we showed you how to use them and spin them. Yep. Those were attached on batteries. Um, keeping it all together though, I know you guys are waiting. We're, we're really trying to get them out. We're really trying to get them out and we're going to get them out as soon as we can. We're sorry for kind of tugging you around and making your wait. Um, That's all right. I think yeah. these would definitely be worth the wait. Um, I, I mean, just like all the others, I think these would be an awesome companion to yeah. a kit with uh, both your panels yes. and uh, and your 120 lights. And then, you know, if you just need one or two as a hair light or a kicker for something, yeah. or if you want to bring them and do a complete three light interview setup in a small room with them, they're on perfect for yeah. it. Honestly, if you're doing an on the run uh, job, and you, especially if you diffuse these things, this could honestly be your three light kit. And it could be it could yeah. be half a backpack, we'll take three lights. Um, and again, the closest comparison to this price-wise, just for reference, would be kind of a dato light. Yes. Those are, I, I, look, I freaking love them, they're awesome, but they're just so expensive. And at a certain point, you gotta think, you know, is it realistic for me to buy a $3,000? And your AC power only. Yeah. And you've got heat, you're dealing with tungsten lights, so there's, exactly. a, there's a ton of benefits here. We're trying to make it affordable, trying to make it for everyone, that's the goal. I think sure. you guys are definitely on the right track and succeeding, and I think this is another product that proves that. So guys, if you agree with me that they're on the right track, please, let, please <laughs> let Ted know. He's obviously really, really <laughs> concerned about getting these products into your hands, which is a good thing to see from a company. For sure, we want to get them out as quickly as possible. But make sure to check out Aperture and keep an eye out for these lights. Uh, not not only the bi-color version, but also the daylight version uh, that should be coming out soon. And I really think they're going to be great. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel, guys. I'm going to have a lot more coming from the show floor. Thank you for watching, guys.